Hi, I'm Heather Araby from Nye House Education Center in Houston, Texas. I hope that you're having a wonderful week. I hope that you're enjoying time with your family and that your loved ones are safe and healthy wherever they are. I hope that these activities have provided you a little bit of a resource and something fun to do that's easy and that your children enjoy. Today is our last day of phonological awareness activities. Phonological awareness is that big umbrella term that has to deal with the sound structure of language. Can children hear all these things that are happening? We moved to phonemic awareness, which is the most challenging skill of phonological awareness. In phonemic awareness, we're listening to the smallest sound in a word, the phoneme. So first, we started by segmenting or saying a word and taking it apart into its individual sounds. Then we worked on blending, hearing individual sounds and putting them together to form a word. Next, we did something a little bit more challenging. We started changing or swapping out sounds. Today, we're gonna to move into a different category because we are introducing letters. Today, it's gonna to kind of feel more, a little bit like a spelling activity. So I hope you enjoy this. I was thinking about those of you that have first graders, second graders, this might be something really fun that you could do with their little spelling list if their teachers are still requiring them to do that. So hold on and wait. I'm gonna show you my great uh, space here. All right, as you can see, I've got some letters out here. So the first thing I would wanna do is I wanna make sure that my child knows the name and the sound that every letter makes. This is a great activity for your first and second graders that are learning their letter names and letter sounds. Kinder might know it too. All right, so let's name and say the sound of every letter. I, I, A, A, S, S, L, O, P, P, T, T, N, N. Tell me the sounds in the word pit, P, I, T, how do I say that? P, I, T. What word did you just write? Pit. Now make pit say pat. Hmm. What's your new word? Pat. Can you make pat say pan? What's my new word? Pan. If that says pan, make it say span. Ooh. If that says span, make it say spit. If that says spit, Make it say split. Hmm. Sp it. What word did I say? Split. Say the sounds in split. Sp it. Oh, I need L. Oh. What's my new word? Split. Very nice. Okay, this is our last activity and look at all of those letters. This is a great activity for a student that is more advanced, really understands sounds, how they work together with letters. All right, are we ready? Always, I'm gonna make sure that the child can identify and name every letter and the sound it makes. So let's start. O, A, U, A, I, I. A, A, P, P, T, T, M, M, N, N, B, B, G, G, L, O, F, F, D, D. You'll notice I don't have the words and letters in any certain order, but I do want to make sure I'm separating my B from my D just in case. All right, so let's start with all of this. I would like you to say the sounds in the word mad. 
echo, mad, say the sounds. M, A, D. Name those letters. M, A, D. What's my word? Mad. If that says mad, make it say man. M, A, N. N. What's my new word? Man. If that says man, make it say pan. What's my new word? Pan. If that says pan, can you make it say plan? Say the sounds in plan. P -o -a -n. I have P -o -a -n. Oh, I need this. Perfect. What's my word? Plan. If this says plan, make it say plat. P -o -a -t. Mm, that's what I'm changing this time. Plat. If this says plat, can you make it say flat? These sounds in flat. Full at. Yes. If that says flat, can you make it say flag? Full at. G. Flag. If that says flag, can you make it say flog? Flog. Flog. If that says flog, make it say fog. Hmm, what are the sounds in fog? Fog. Fog. I don't need this anymore. Leave that together to make it a word. What's my new word? Fog. If that says fog, make it say fig. Fig, fig. That's right. Oh, I love fig jam. Fig, fig. If that says fig, make it say big. B ig, big. If that says big, make it say bag. Bag. Last one. If that says bag, make it say bug. Bug. What's my word? Bug. All right. So, wow. What did you think about those activities? I really enjoy them, and I hope your children do too. I think that they're a great. Um, overall activity, but can you see why it's important that first they know how to segment a word into its sounds and blend it back together. And then it's important that they know how to hear the position of the sound. Because when we were doing those words, we really were using all kinds of different sounds. We weren't just doing the first sound or just doing the last sound or just doing the middle sound. We were moving them all around. So that's why there's some skills that lead up to being able to do that. And we also introduced letters. That makes it really hard. Oftentimes, you could start this activity just doing the sounds, right? We wanna stick with the sounds first until we're confident in that. All right, so that's our t session on phonological awareness. I hope that it was helpful for you. I hope that, um, your time with your children, you are enjoying, you're reading, reading, reading tons of books. Um, have fun with it. Read really silly picture books. Read really sad chapter books. Do things that show them the value of reading. Let them see you reading. Let them see you enjoying a good book because I think we're all just tired of being cooped up in home. So a book can take us all over the world. Remember, we are with Nyhaus Education Center, N-E-U-H-A-U-S, in Houston, Texas. Nyhaus.org has other links for helpful information for you. Hope you enjoy. 
Have a great rest of your day.